Hi guys, it's Deb with Deb's Cool Finds. Thank you for joining me again. It is a beautiful Sunday. Uh, if you didn't remember, remember we have to set our clocks backwards. <laughs> I don't remember because I was sitting playing with my phone and I was in Fishland and I looked up at a clock I have sitting on my wall and it said it was quarter to 12 and so I was looking at my fish game saying why does the meal time say it's an hour and 15 minutes away that's so strange it's only 15 minutes and then I remembered oh yeah your phone and your you know devices automatically go and do the time changes so it automatically made the change whereas my clock I have to go change so <laughs> anyway so I hope you remembered all of that uh, so it was brighter outside earlier this morning and then I'm going to be bummed later in the day when it gets dark early because I am a sun girl. I need that sun. I need that vitamin K, vitamin D, all that stuff. Um, it affects my mood. So I have to work even harder now in this time until uh, the springtime to keep myself positive. So um, I'm wearing my, uh, these earrings are not Timu, so yeah, no, they're paparazzi I believe this is Timu and I love this thing isn't that beautiful it's so sparkly it's a little perfume bottle necklace so I got that on Timu I'm wearing um this one is Timu so it's so pretty and then on this hand I hate when they turn they always turn on my hands um, and this one is Timu so we've got that these are Timu most of them almost all of them um are Timu so we got that this is the beads. Um, that's all my Timu. And then I'm wearing my shirt that just says happy, happy, happy. Um, and it's a little see-through, but I like that. So <laughs> I'm just a crazy wild girl. Uh, there's Bella in the background. Bella. Yeah, she's ignoring us. Well, we went on our beautiful walk this morning. It was gorgeous, sunny. Um, the lake was really rough, so I got to hear the wave sounds, which I adore because when the lake is calm, we don't get any of that. There's no beach or anything here. So, yeah, I love hearing the noises. You are not going to protect us from invisible people. Yeah, that's my girl. Thank you. Look what we got. We got Timu. Yeah, you're not impressed? Okay. <laughs> anyway, I have a somewhat small Timu haul that I wanted to get to you because there's some things in here I want. Uh, but I did want to report that here is the gel polish. I did this on Friday. It is now Sunday, almost noon. And so far they're doing pretty good. Um, this one always happens on this finger, on my left hand, my pointer finger. Always is the first. Oh, I do notice an error. Okay. Always is the first to chip. Uh, but so far it's doing good. Now the end, you know, how it said to polish the tip of my nail. That, if you can see, has worn off. I did just notice there's a huge chip in this one down at my cuticle. I don't know why. Don't look at that finger. Uh, it's infected for some reason. I don't know. It happens every so often. And it's annoying. Uh, this hand looking pretty good. So... Yeah, remember it was my first time, so it could be user error. This could have been something I did where, you know, anything like it might have scraped off on something. So I'll have to fix that one. But otherwise, still looking pretty good after two days. For some of you, maybe that doesn't mean anything. For me, that means a lot. My nail polish can chip the very next day. So this is the gel polish, remember, from Nail Reserve that I did the review on. Okay. I think that's all my updates for now. If I'm missing any, please remind me in the comments below. Also remember all of the links to these products. Um, I either do an order link, or if that doesn't work, I do an individual link. So I'm hoping the order link is working for you guys. All of it, go down below. Um, if you haven't figured this out already, it took me a while to figure it out. But down below, it says a little description on everybody's YouTube video. It's a little description, and then it says dot, 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 more always click that more. You never know what a creator or content person has put in that description box. There's a lot of information that we can put in there. So always click that more and then you'll see like my buy, buy me coffee link. You'll see um, my Timu. If you have not downloaded the Timu app on a device of yours, please use my link in that description box below. It gets me $5 and it gets you, um, I believe it's 50% off of your first order. Uh, but I know you have to place that order pretty quickly after you download it. So if you want to go investigate on their website first, find the items you want to order, 
and then download the app, order the items, and you get your 50% off. If you've all, if you're a constant orderer like some of us, um, I do have an affiliate code below. It's AFI something something something, and um, hi baby, and that will get you a coupon bundle if you've already ordered prior. So there's some goodies down there below. There's my resale links. There's links to the Fetch app. Please go download that Fetch app. If you use my affiliate code below, hey, or referral code it is, uh, she's leaving us. Um, it gets me a little something and I think it gets you something, but, um, but yeah, it's a free, if you don't know about Fetch, it's just a free app. And you just have to take a picture of your receipts when you get them for anything you pick. Um, you can also do uh, yeah, online receipts and stuff. Just take a picture of it. You accumulate points. And for so many points, you can get different items for free or you can get gift cards for free. So you might as well get the most from your money spent. Also, I've started using Rakuten. Don't know that much about it yet, but I'm getting into it. Uh, that's another way to get some extra money. And of course, your price adjustments on Timu. Do not forget those. Um, just click on your order on the bottom of your app. Uh, and then click it, each individual order. And if it says price adjustment, you know, it'll say refund an item, review an item, whatever. If it says price adjustment, just keep clicking through. Get a Timu credit. And it instantaneously goes into your Timu account for you to spend on a future purchase. So, yay. Don't forget that. I think that's all my spiel. Um, I did get this, remember, a while back at Dollar Tree. I just noticed it because I'm just smelling it again. It's just mm, very lovely. All right. I think that's it for business for the moment. But we'll get into our Timu haul here. Now, this box came kind of funky, but its twin came perfect. So, <laughs> well, not twin, but so the other box came okay, but that's how this box came. And somewhere in here, it fell out. Where did it go, Miss Bell? Hi. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Um, is the uh, is the cord. Yeah, these are twins. I'm sorry, I was confusing myself because this looks smaller, but it's because the box broke. So what these are, are one piece under the cabinet LED uh, motion lights. And I got them in cold white and I got it 11.81 inches. I have two places I wanna put them in my kitchen. I have a smaller one about this size that I ordered way back when, and I love it. I mean, I have put that under my, uh, fan over my stove. Sorry, my exhaust fan that's over my stove. I put it underneath there uh, because that light, ever since I moved in here, I've tried to replace that light, but it broke. And now I can't get the little piece of it out of there. So um, I put the little tiny one of these up there and it's amazing. I, when it's the lights are out and I walk in that kitchen, it instantaneously knows I'm there and poof the lights on. So they work really, really well. So I'll pull it out of here. They are um, LED chargeable right here. So you just plug in the cord that comes with it. This one just fell out, it's in here. Um, and you put these up, let me open the other one because the parts and pieces fell out of that first one because the box is all funkified. All right, all right. So what it really, what it comes with and what's in the bag somewhere, is the little charging cord, of course. So that goes into the light, that goes into your your uh, plug. Then it comes with these, four of these for this size. And they are little <laughs> sticky magnets. Nope, down, down, down. I know, I know, it's hard, you're a guard dog. Um, but, <laughs> Miss Bell, we're not doing this again. Sit down, down down good girl so what you do is you take off the sticky and you stick it to um here okay so we're going to stick it we're going to glue it to this and then the other side is magnetic so you just put it on well my exhaust fan oh, I my exhaust fan is metal so i just then hooked it up there and we were good to go 
under the cabinets, then you would glue one side to the light. Okay, so it's glued on there. And then you take the other part of the magnet and glue that under your cabinet, and then they are magnetic. So then it just hooks up there. So when you need to recharge your light, you just take it down, charge it, put it back, and on. And the charge lasted for quite a while for me. So uh, that's not a big issue. I even charged it when it wasn't even fully done. I've never had it just go dead yet. But these are really nice, a nice size, like I said, 11.81 inches. And they have a soft white and um, a bright white. So, and they come in a multitude, they come in, move my little card button, in a ton of sizes, 3.94 inches, 7.87, 11.81, and all the way up to 19.7 inches. And it's cold white and warm white. Okay, so I was wrong, not bright white, cold white and warm white. So choose those. I got two of them. I'm going to put one under the biggest part of my little cabinet. I have just like a I'm sorry, allergies. Um, a galley kitchen. And so on one side, I've got a really short cabinet. And then there's my little coffee bar there, the sink, and then a little longer cabinet. And that's where I'm putting one of these. And then I'm going to put the other big one of these under my exhaust fan, take out the little one, put this one up, and then it will light the stove and then the two smaller countertops next to it. And then under my sink, or, I mean, under that last cabinet by the coffee bar, that's where I'll put the, the little tiny one. It's about this big. I'll put that one under there now. And then I'll be lighted in my kitchen. And I did not tell you the price. Uh, this was the cold 11.81 inches, which is $3.67. And go away. I hate when I click on it and it just expands the picture instead of backing up. Okay. And I spent, I got a deal on them. I spent $2.05 for uh, each of these. So, yeah, I got a great deal on those. Next, we got more of these little cards. And I forgot that I was going to do another one today. But we'll do one of these. These are called Stress Less Cards, 50 Mindfulness Cards. I purchased it for $4.97, but I did get a partial refund on the price adjustment. Um, and then right now they are $4.97. Where's my cloud? Cloud, there you are. All right, I mean my cloud. I purchased this on Timo. It's just one of those little handy-dandy razor gadgets. So we'll try that. Hey, Bells. My son texted me the other day and said, you know, what days? I mean, are you still coming for Christmas? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to let my uh, my job that's coming. I know it's coming. No, I haven't heard anything. But but yes, the job's coming. But I'm just going to tell him that I can't work those days. But luckily, Christmas is, what is it, a Sunday or a Monday, something like that. So it would only be a couple of work days that I would be gone right at the holidays. So I don't think it'll be a big issue in the bargaining negotiation <laughs> process. Um, but I said, well, if you have other plans, you know, go ahead and do that instead. Don't let me hold you back. And he said, no, I was looking at airfare. I was like, oh my gosh, she's going to fly me up there. I normally drive. It's about 11, 12 hour drive. Um, and then I stop in. Nashville normally get a hotel room now I don't know what I do because of you know pricing and stuff but anyway that was so sweet so okay they are stressless cards and there's even an there's an app for them there's a stressless cards app available for iPhone and Android I'll have to check that out and report to you uh, the app feature oh well it features the same 50 exercises some of them are augmented with voice guidance and relaxing music interesting the first five exercises are free oh so it must just be try the app for free and then pay for it um, it does tell you how to use it. So the next card is an instruction thing. It just says shuffle the cards, pick a random card. You can also ask in your mind what would be the best card for the current situation. So kind of, you know, oops, yeah, I'll, okay. So after, did, after doing the exercise, evaluate how it worked for you. When choosing an exercise, don't do it based on its text. Some exercises might sound a, a bit funny or weird. And those most, <sighs> 
take two, and those might be precisely the ones that work best for you. When you discover the exercises that are most suitable for you, write their numbers down to easily find them later. So there's a number in a little circle on the bottom of the card. The most important thing is to try, learn, and repeat the exercises as many times a day as possible in your everyday life to make them a routine. When doing the exercises, you may learn that stress management is possible every day, all the time, and everywhere. Hashtag stress less cards. Okay, so what did it say? Shuffle and pick a random card. So we're going to shuffle. I always wanted to be the person that could do it both ways. You know, I can do it this way. But then, you know, the people that can then do it again. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. So <laughs> That's not me. I can do it this way, so, yeah. Okay, so, pick a random card. Okay, but then I like that. Ask in your mind, I'm going to say it out loud, what would be the best card for the current situation? So, what would be the best card for my job search? Meeny, miny, mo. pick a card by the toe. All right, let's see, Belle, what are we doing? You need this dress less too, baby. All right, I got number 14, so there's the little number on the bottom. And it says, feel your body. Close your eyes and feel your body. Just feel it. Don't do anything special. Concentrate on different parts of your body. The soles of your feet, your thighs, your stomach, diaphragm, lungs, back, neck, face, head. Give each part of your body attention as you stop there. Use five to ten minutes for your whole body. When you pay attention to yourself and the feelings in your body, it's a bit like giving water to a flower. When you listen to the needs of your body, you can respond to them easier. I do like this, and I have done this in the past just to kind of really relax. I just lay on the bed, you know, chill, and then I just concentrate on relaxing each part of my body from the tip of my toes to the top of my head. And it does work for me. This didn't really help my job thing, except yes, I have a lot of stress regarding not having a job. So maybe that's what it's for. But anyway, so that just comes like this and it gives you a little task to do. And you do that. So I'm going to do that today. If you want to take a screenshot of that, if, if you're interested, I'll give you a little, there you go. And then... There you go. You can pause on it and read it better in case you want to do this today. Do it with me. Let's do it together. Okay, so we'll keep that one out knowing that we did that one. And then we can mingle these with our motivational cards and try and do those every so often. And we'll get motivated. We'll get stress-free. We'll be happy people. Um, I'm a happy person anyway. I did, my dad and mom called me up. Thursday, Friday, no, Thursday, I think Thursday, and they're like, we're in the middle of your town, you want to go to, to breakfast? It was like 11.45, I'm like, well, I'll go to lunch, <laughs> so anyway, um, the, he had just gotten the um, stitches taken out, remember I, I took him to the doctor to get um, a melanoma uh, part, he had got it partially taken out, and it wasn't enough, so they had to take it out more, and then they had to put stitches in. Um, before he even got home, before we even got to the restaurant that day for breakfast, um, one of the s stitches had broke, but the doctor said, don't worry about it. My dad is worried about it because he's like, that's going to leave a scar and I don't like scars. So <laughs> he's so vain. But um, anyway, so they invited me um, to breakfast and I was talking to the waitress and I was, she's like, you know, how are you guys doing? And I was like, oh, I'm fine. How's your day going? And she was like, it's a wonderful day. I woke up breathing and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I say to people. So is that a little sign to me to keep remembering that? Yes, it is. So I thought that was cool. But anyway, um, this is, I just wanted one of these to have here with me when I'm showing you stuff to measure it. I have a littler one that goes on my keychain that I take with me uh, for like, you know, uh, when I go to thrifting or a garage sale and I'm looking for something specific like right now I'm looking for a frame a very inexpensive frame that will fit my diamond painting so I can hang that in my bathroom area bath area and so I have that on there for whatever purpose but I wanted one here because I'm always showing you stuff and having to guess at the size but it's just a little um hundred well we don't care about centimeters 
Well, you might care about centimeters. Who am I to say? Uh, I have people from elsewhere that watch me. Hello, Australia. Hello, Europe. <laughs> Hello, Canada. Um, anyway, it's 150 centimeters or 59.05 inches. Circular soft tape measuring thing. I got a four. Are you ready? You're, it's going to blow your mind. Nine cents. Um, and I got partially refunded. So um, it, right now it is sold out. I'm going to hit notify me. And when it comes back, I will let you guys know on my community page uh, when they let me know. But there's other ones out there. It's just this one was a great deal. How did I find it? I typed in the search bar on Timu, cheapest items available. And then I did the uh, sorting feature on the top. And I said price low to high. This came up. I knew I wanted one. And that's how I got it. So it's just this little circular plastic container. And it's got the measuring, and you can hit it right there and lock it. But there you go. It's got that measuring, and then it's got, so that was centimeters, and then there's inches. And then you just hold the button down, and boop, it goes back. So if you see that, we're going to press it. Okay, there it locks. So you pull it out, and then it locks. And then there you go. Okay, so again, nine cents. I can't beat it. Go here in my little Timu item stash. Okay, that's where my cloud goes. So we'll go backwards on my tablet. All right, next. Okay, so where is it? In my order. 406. Yes, 406 pieces inspirational quote stickers. You know what this is for. It's for my little motivational journal. Um, it was $2.48, but I did get a price adjustment. It is now still $2.40. It is now $2.48. And we will take a look at them. Yeah, there's a lot in here. 406. They say it's great for scrapbooking and journaling and planners and arts and whatever. I used to do scrapbooking. I have really cute scrapbook albums um, from, I have pictures of my mom as a child. That's where it starts. I, I did it chronologically, so it starts with that. There's multiple books. Um, then it goes through my birth and my childhood, and then my kids' birth and their childhood, and all the way, all the way up till, well, I think even Jax is in there, who's my grandson. So, um, but then I kind of stopped because everything is done on your phone instead of pictures. But anyway, it comes with this just little sheet here that's nothing and then just a whole bunch of motivational sayings and you've got a whole bunch of sheets of these so you got a bunch of white and then a bunch of black ones and so some of them are start doing things you love that's a great one um here if, if there's someone you know you love i'm happiest when i'm with you here's one i truly believe travel the world over to find the beautiful yes travel 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 there is beauty and simplicity. Take risks. Choose to see the... That's, that's my fave. Choose to see the good stuff. Yes, choose the good stuff. Don't, don't dwell on the bad stuff. Um, do what you love. Love what you do. Hold tight and pretend it's a plan. Oh my gosh, I need that now. Um, leave each day with grace and authenticity. Yes, please. Um, and here's another beautiful one that I wholeheartedly believe in. Love you. You have to love you. Take care of you in order to do that properly for others. We, we just can't take care of others and prop others up and always have kind words to say to others and not do the same to ourselves. Anyway, um, and there's, I just went through them. There's eight sheets. So four white inspirational sheets and four black um, and yes, they're the same. Oh, okay. So honestly, you only get 203 sayings because the sayings on the black one, see there, is the same as the white one. Okay. It's just if you prefer whatever color you prefer. So that's going by my little journal. I told you the price. I can get rid of it on the screen. Next. Oh, I used to use these a lot. I used to use Color Street. College Street's expensive. That's when I was making good money. Um, then I moved on to Lily and Fox. I don't know if it was the nails. I don't know if it was something I was doing. But it was starting to affect my nails and make them really bad. 
Um, and that's also when I started to get this nail psoriasis thing. I don't know if it's related or if it just happened. But I saw these and I thought if I'm desperate and I need to get my nails done, um, maybe I could try it once again and see if it does anything to me again. Uh, but these were Timu ones and they're called Sparkly Full Cover Nail Art Stickers. I got them for 47 cents and got them partially refunded. Right now they're at 47. Again, I found these by doing cheapest items available and doing that sort. But these are beautiful. If you see them there, sparkly, kind of see-through sparkly purple. You know me and my purple. I mean, that would look really cute over the nails I have on now just to add that kind of sparkle to them but anyway yeah and if you haven't used these well, I don't know about these specifically I haven't used Timu's but Color Street I found the easiest they were thinner so all you do is you just take one of these off the sheet so it's sticky on the back when you take it off you just put it on your nail and look it's rounded on both ends so you can use this um, if your nails are short you'll get double the use out of these because you just stick it on your nail, you know, just match it and stick it on your nail. It's a sticker and you can pull them a little, don't stretch them too much or you'll wreck the design, but if you can pull them a little, they stretch a little and make sure you get, you know, on both ed <laughs> edges. Ma'am, ma'am, if I can't reach you, come here, come here, there you go. Um, make sure, you know, you cover both sides. And then when you get to the end, you just kind of, the color street was the easiest because I said they were the thinnest. You could just kind of bend it over and then peel it off and then push down you had a nail and if you only used half of it you know for a short nail like probably this one is short enough um then you could take the other half of it and put that on this nail and do the same thing and okay and just file it down and then I always top coated it the Lillian Fox was like I said less expensive and they had a lot more designs they have beautiful nail designs um but they're a little thicker so I couldn't as easily, you know, just rip them off my nail to the size. I actually had to, had to kind of bend them over and then file to get those off. Or um, if they were really long, I would use a little um, manicure scissors and cut close and then file them down. So I'm, I don't know how these will work, but we'll see at some point. I don't know when or if I'll use them, but I thought I wanted them handy in case I wanted to try them and let you guys know what they were like. And if it will stop doing that, there we go. Uh, okay, next. Oh, um, I've started on a little stocking just with little doodaddy things in there for my son when I go to visit him at Christmas. And because uh, this is his first Christmas since the divorce, so I know it's going to be harder. And I just wanted to do a little extra for him. And he has nobody there where my daughter has her kids and her husband and, you know, life is good where my son, his life is still good. But I mean, he doesn't have anybody there Christmas morning, so it'll be different. He's had somebody for years. So anyway, um, these are one size fits all. So I'm hoping they fit his giant foot, but they might not now that I'm looking at them. Oh, that would be a bummer. So I'm going to investigate if there's bigger ones. I didn't even think of that, but they are men's. So I'm trying to think what size his foot is and I, it might it might not be as big as I think. It might be my brother's. My brother's, one of my brother's has like a 13 or something. Uh, anyway, they are one pair of men's novelty socks. They were 89 cents for me. They are still 89. You can get them in black and white and gray. I got the black. Just popped up on my tablet another. Thank you for your application, but we have decided not to go with you. Oh, so depressing. Okay, get out. Step out of it. Okay. So anyway, they're little socks, and the bottoms of them, he's a gamer. So the bottom, oh, this one first. The bottom says, so when you're sitting, you know, he's got this big, these two, I think he still has two. She might have taken one, so I'm not sure. I haven't seen the house since, yeah, all this happened, so I'm not sure what he got, what she got kind of thing. Anyway, it's this big, like love seat kind of thing that also opens up into a couch and that's where I'll be staying in his basement um that's also his office down there in his gaming room and there's it's a nice it's a nice house and um it's got a like a wet bar down there and a little refrigerator and a bathroom all of that and then you go to the first level that's his master kitchen living room and then the third level is um 
two bedrooms and a bath, but he rented that out to a roommate just to get some extra money in. So that's where I would normally stay, but now I'll be in the basement. Anyway, when he's sitting on that long love seat with his feet up and you walk by, it's going to say, do not disturb. I'm gaming. I just thought those were so cute. So I'm hoping they fit his foot. I'm hoping they're stretchy enough to fit his foot because I think those are hysterical. So again, for 89 cents, yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's a big gamer. Always has been a gamer. Always. Um, what is this? I couldn't remember what this is. And I still don't remember what this is. Oh, okay, but it came like this. All right, I, I need to learn to read because I thought this was a, like a tin sign. It is not. <laughs> um, it was $2.48, but I did get it partially refunded. It is now still $2.48. And it's my puppy, who I adore. So I'll, another thing I'll need to measure and get a frame for. Um, but yeah, I got this size. And it says, God once said, I need somebody strong enough to pull a cart, gentle enough to love a child, smart enough to protect his master, passionate enough to love his family. Someone with so much love. Let me try to get you to see what I'm reading. Okay. Someone with so much love that can lift the spirits of a broken heart. So God created the pit bull. I just love it. I love that color one too, but I wish it was black and white, but we can we can do without that, Bells, but that's my baby. Even though Pitbull is not a breed, Pitbull is a class. I know, I repeat myself, but that's adorable. But it's on this nice kind of canvasy thing. It is. It is. Um, are we in inches? Yes. It is 11 inches by seven so 11 by seven so i'm just gonna get a little frame and put that up probably in my entryway but i just thought that was adorable and for two dollars and 48 cents yes so um yeah i'm just gonna put it back in this handy dandy little stop yeah my son has a bunch of these kind of holders because he does graphics and stuff and he has a little side business i think on etsy um, where he makes posters and things, and he's got these all in his house where he has them for shipping. That's a great little shipping tool. If I ever have something I need to resale in that, I'll, re I'll reuse that. But okay, two dollars and forty-eight cents. They have so many things um, that are breed specific on Timu. So if you have a certain dog, you can find something for your dog. Oh, one other thing. These little. These little. Um, rhinestone earrings I bought last time the backs on them it's a ball and it screws on and there's a lot of room between the back of my ear and and that so I believe they were in uh, intended to be body piercing uh, items like for piercing well, I don't know what you'd pierce it with but maybe the nose or or lip or I don't know what they'd be for but they're the kind I see where they've got the little screw on thing so they're not going to fall off ever but they do kind of you know they're kind of loose in my ear just FYI all right this little tiny item is also for my son's stocking it cost a whopping 89 cents and that which is great um it is a pin it's an enamel pin it is now 98 cents when I bring it up but it's his favorite one of his favorite movies and that is back into the future so it's a back to the future enamel pin it's the time machine and there it is and they're saying it is 0.66 inches tall and 1.61 inches width but it's just black and white and it's the car so I thought he could put it on a hat he wears hats a lot or whatever his motorcycle jacket or something but I know he will love that he is a back to the future nut he even named his new rescue pup Marty if you know the movie Marty is the <laughs> it's the guy from the movie okay here's the pieces that fell out in the bag for the second light I told you it was in the bag somewhere so there's that all right this is for me um, and the only reason I got it was because I liked it. Um, and it's only $2.24. I 
but I just like the color and I like trying some new metals. Uh, but it is a Gothic Punk Black Eternity Ring Inlaid Rainbow Color Zircon. Okay, it's a size eight. So where are we gonna put you, baby? Um, good question. Okay, that finger. I'm gonna take this one off. Well, first, I'll show you it. So there we go. It's a sparkly, beautiful rainbow effect. And then it's got the two little jewels on the side. And it is a darker color of um, metal. It's black. So there you go. So that's really pretty. Oh, I really like that. It's on my engagement finger. So if you watch another show, you'll know what saying I'm thinking in my head right now. <laughs> So anyway, I think it's gorgeous. Please don't mistake it for an engagement ring because, you know, I try and never put anything on that finger just in case someone ever notices me so far. No, but whatever. <laughs> so, um, okay, that's that. This, I hope it, I hope it's true and I hope it really says what it says, <laughs> what it says it says. Um, you know, and he's not going to be wearing something weird. Anyway, this is again for my son's stocking. Um, it was $1.17. I did get refunded partially. Um, it's a Morse code uh, bracelet and it's supposed to say never give up. It is now 89 cents. So that's my refund came down to 89 cents. It says it's a handmade item. It says it's in Morse code. So I'm hoping it is. On the back they do list the Morse code you know, alphabet, and then it has one of those that you just, you know, like these that you just pull or, you know, you expand it or you can make it any size you want. And it's never give up. And it's just these beads in, um, you know, the, the short and long blast, whatever. I don't know what it's called in Morse code, but it's supposed to say never give up. So I'm hoping that's what it says. <laughs> and I'm hoping they like it. It's a little, like we all say, a little smaller than I thought as far as, you know, the size of the actual bracelet this is yeah that anyone can wear this but but yeah so uh you know with what he's going through and everything he's got to never give up he keeps saying it's gonna be years before i get married i'm like oh my gosh you're not that old anyway but we all can say that unless it's happening to us right then it yeah it's had, it has a bigger impact on us personally like you all keep saying a better job's coming a better job's coming and i know you're saying that with love and I, and I take it to heart and i keep putting it in my brain but for me it feels like when when i'm running out of money when but you know everything that's happening to us is a little more important but please don't stop the comments i love them i know they come from your heart i put them in my heart and i run with it and that's what's keeping me sane <laughs> so i'm not belittling it i'm just saying you know it's it's easier to give the words sometimes than to hear the words and take them in and, and make them real hi gorgeous you come to see us yeah she heard a little bit um the last couple of days just like when i said her name really loud one time she actually turned around which shocked me so i don't know if her hearing is truly gone or if she's yeah whatever but she's almost an old lady she's gonna be 13 on christmas day right yeah you got so ladies together. You don't act like it, though. People on the walk this morning, she was, like, all excited to see this other dog that he was dragging away. Because I, I don't get her close to other dogs, just in case. But the people were on a bench, and they were like, oh, she just wants to play with the doggy. I said, yeah, she just wants attention. She's a good girl. And they're like, oh, she's such a cute puppy. I'm like, eh, not a puppy. Anyway, but she is so cute, right? You're so cute. Yeah. Uh, again, for my son. It was 98 cents. Um, it's now 99 cents. Um, but it's just a little keychain thing. And he drives a motorcycle. <laughs> so it says, be safe and don't do stupid shit. Blank. Uh, yeah, be safe and don't do stupid stuff. Love. And then the back is blank. But I think this would be a great gift even for like teenagers, you know, because... Especially teenage boys, they're always coming up with the goofiest stuff to do. I mean, the scariest words when you have a boy is, uh, you know, come watch me. Come watch me do that. You know, and it's like, what, 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 what are you doing? What? Um, yeah, my, my brother, we lived, there was a hill down 
from a major street and then there was a hill down our little dead end street and we lived right at the bottom where the hill started to turn in you know straighter um and he ran in the house he's like come watch me and we're all like oh my gosh what and we ran outside and he was on his bike at the top of the hill and they had built a ramp like this at the bottom of the hill and we're like no as he starts to go and he goes up on the ramp and unfortunately comes down like this Boom, the bike went over and he was just all scraped up and everything. But yeah, so stay safe. Don't do stupid shit. But yeah, try telling that to teenage boys, especially. I'm sure girls do their share. I'm sure my daughter did. I just don't want to know about it. But <laughs> anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. So that's another one for his little stocking. And of course, I'll have his favorite. He doesn't really like candy other than... If you've ever been to Fannie Mae, I don't even know if they're still around. I haven't seen one here since we moved here. So I don't know if they still exist, but Fannie Mae had a uh, peppermint chocolate bark. So it was like a white chocolate and peppermint chunks in it. And it was a thin bark. He did love those. But um, as he started to become a little older, like, I don't know, nine, 10 or something, he's like, I don't really like candy. And he didn't like chocolate. He liked white chocolate for a while, but then he was like, no, no chocolate. So um, I start, Santa started, um, putting um, chips and nuts and that kind of stuff in his stocking, which I thought was so funny when I saw that the first time. Uh, I was just like overflowing with bags of chips. And that kid was so excited and he ate the majority of them <laughs> that Christmas morning. But so for his stocking, I'm making him because he's too old for Santa to visit him. Santa's busy with children. So um, for him in the stocking I'm doing for him, there'll be a bunch of cool snacks and stuff. So I'm going to have to start stocking at uh, Dollar Tree and finding interesting different kind of chips or um, he does a lot of like protein stuff. So maybe some of the meat sticks and different things. But that's the end of my bag other for this last item. This I saw on Hey Everybody, I believe. Uh, and I was like, those are so cute. I must have them. So yeah. Uh, if I do that to you by you watching me, I'm so sorry <laughs> to to add to your addiction, but um, <laughs> to enable your addiction uh, as other YouTuber haulers enable my addiction. Uh, but these are stud earrings. Well, they call them stud, but they're not as I'm looking at them. And remember, when you get um, earrings, now I only see one. Oh, there's the second one. Um, when you get earrings like this, they come in these clear plastic. They don't put the backs on the earrings a lot. So if you look really carefully, there's one of the backs. So, and from here, you know, if you're just taking the jewelry out, you can't even see that thing in there. It just blends in. So be careful if you want these backs um, to make sure you get them out of the bag before you throw the bag away. Um, these are called Rose Red. I call them Neon Pink. Um, and they are yeah, the description says hot pink sunflower and the color says rose red. Okay. They were $1.47. They still are. They come in purple, a neon green, and then this. And I just thought these are beautiful summery kind of earrings. They call them bohemian style. I don't know what qualifies as that, but I think they're adorable. Look at those. So, oops, that one's backwards. So, yeah, they're just this beautiful neon pink with this beautiful yellow middle. I don't know what that's called in Flower World. Um, stamen? Is it a stamen? I don't know. These almost seem like they're on there backwards. So I'm going to have to fix them. So when you hang them on your ear, I'm going to just have to twist it because it looks like when I hang it on my ear, it's going to be backwards here. Let's see. It'll go on my ear like this. Yeah, see? So I'm going to have to flip it with my jewelry kit, but they should hang like this. So they'll be very noticeable, very pretty, very summery. Even in the winter, sometimes you need some summery look, but <laughs> I just thought they were really cute. They're just a plastic, hard plastic, and uh, yeah, add it to my collection. And that is it for me. Oh, so sad. Uh, but yeah, I hope um, I hope y'all are doing well. I thank you so much for coming back to my channel again. 
I've said it before, I'll continue to say it. You have so many choices on YouTube and other streaming uh, platforms that to choose me on here is just, it just blows my mind. I thank you very much. And I know that your time is very valuable. And so I am honored that you chose me to watch. And if you are new here, as my analytics say, more than half of you watch, but are not subscribed, if you could please do me the immense kind favor of subscribing below. Um, it's that little subscribe button. If you click on that, it just subscribes you to me. It makes me go up in the YouTube world and it helps me out with getting review products and all different things. So if you could please do that. Um, and then if you want to get notifications on top of that, if you want to be notified when I uh, publish a new uh, video, then click the little bell and choose all. And then it will tell you when I made a community post or when I made a short or when I made a video and, and put it up. If you don't want to be notified, don't click that bell, but click the subscribe. Um, and then always the thumbs up, the like button, thumbs up down below, just looks like a thumbs up. That always helps me. So if you could take a second to do that, I thank you in advance. Um, share the video. I, I am, last I checked, 10 away. I was so bummed. I was like, I was here at 10 away. And then two people unsubscribed or somehow got unsubscribed. So I've heard that. Sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe you and you don't know that. So check and make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, I'm checking all mine for my people uh, that I watch. But anyway, it went down to and I was like, no, that's the wrong way. But it went back up. <laughs> so um, I'm at a 490 and my first YouTube goal is a 500. So I am so close. I can taste it. I can see I can see it right there. It's right there. Um, but so sharing will help me and telling your friends or whatever. Um, and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, that would help me greatly. So push that little button. Uh, and then in the description box, of course, I have all information that might be valuable to you. Um, I'm trying to do the... Sorry, uh, my phone just dumped my video because I got my... my my all important Fishland uh, mealtime reminder. Uh, uh, yeah, thing from my my clock settings. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I'm addicted to Fishland. Um, anyway, uh, as I was saying, I don't even know what I was saying because that threw me for a loop. Oh, um, so yeah, sharing helps me out greatly. That that helps, and then your comments. Your comments help me out on YouTube, but much much more importantly, they help me out here and they help me out here. So um, yeah, I'm going through some stuff, and stuff just keeps happening. So on the road of life, right now, I'm still doing this. <coughs> Excuse me, and. And it will start doing this soon. I know it will. I just know it will. Uh, life is full of ups and downs and my ups are coming. They just got to come a little quicker now because like I said, I'm running out of money and patience and and, and my stress level is really high. Uh, so yeah, um, they help me out in that way. You guys are so supportive. Um, when I first started doing YouTube, I was so scared of all of the bad comments. And yeah, I've got a couple, but they are limited. They are very, very limited. The rest of you are amazing people. You're supportive. You're inspiring. Um, you're just, your tips are great that you've, you've helped me out on issues that I have questions. And you're like, do this. Or, hey, I heard this works. I'm like, oh my gosh. You guys are amazing. It's like my little family. And some of you have said that you wish we were neighbors and you could help me out watching Bella when, I, when I'm when i gone and stuff. And that would be amazing. But um, but here we're a community. We actually created a community. And one of you said, um, when I was complaining, because I'm like, I don't have a name for my people. Um, she was like, we could be little Debbies. So if anybody knows those, those little treats, um, yeah, they sell in the stores called Little Debbies. Yeah, I used to hear about that when I was a, a kid. Um, and then did you ever see the 2020 COVID meme where it said Little Debbie before 2020 and Little Debbie during 2020? Little Debbie was Big Debbie. I didn't find it funny. Yes, I did. But um, it was like, oh, come on, not my name. But um, so, yeah. And then I told her, well, Little Debbie is better than the other thing people used to say to me when I first moved here. Um, if, if any of you know of a certain movie of a certain type, 
uh, years ago that was called Debbie Does Dallas, and Debbie moved to Dallas. So I heard all about that. Um, so little Debbies are much better. But anyway, <laughs> or the Debs. Aren't those the ones that are, you know, rich girls coming out to the world are the Debs? But uh, anyway, um, I call you my friends. So yeah, there's a couple of you that have been here since the beginning, and I love you guys. And um, a couple of you have your own channels, and I'm trying to mention them below because I got a shout out one time so far, and I just blew my mind, and I was so excited, and yeah, this is what I look like. Um, but so I like to do that for others and, and help them out a little bit. Uh, so yeah, if you've got a channel and I haven't mentioned it, comment below so I can go check you out and mention it to people. But you know, um, there's Adrian Miller, and there's Gamer Mom, and um, um, Favorites with Laura. And um, there's Hey Everybody, but she needs no help from anybody. She is just going through the stratosphere on her channel. So she's amazing. She she don't need anybody's help. She's, she's just doing amazing all by herself. I, I can't even imagine what that must feel like. Uh, but um, but yeah, so I'm sure I missed some of you. So again, remind me. Mimi, Mimi, no, Mimi's Life is another one I watch. I don't believe she's a viewer though, uh, but I do love her. Uh, but yeah, so I try and mention some channels or if you have a great channel you've been watching, let me know. Uh, and also, as I ask every time, let me know about a show you've been watching that was great. I watched, I watched Nyad. N-Y-A-D, Nyad. And it's a movie about Diana, or Diane, Nyad, who I did not know anything about because I don't usually ever in my life watch a lot of news channels and stuff. I just find they just bring me very down. And yeah, I mean, I like to hear certain things, but yeah, I can't watch it all the time. Anyway, it's called Nyad, and I watched it, I believe, on Netflix. And it was amazing. She is a woman who at a young age, I forget what she was, 20, maybe something like that, um, decided that she was, she was a swimmer and she decided she was going to swim from Cuba to Key West. And it, and it's like a hundred and something miles. I don't retain a lot here. <laughs> Sorry. My hard drive is full. But, um, so anyway, you check out the movie and you'll hear all about it. But anyway, or Google it. But so that swim and she failed at her attempt and she was going to swim it and then never swim again. And she didn't. And then all of a sudden she is 60 years old and decides she's going to swim from Cuba to Key West. And it's all about her great best friend who was amazing. Um, and it's about their relationship and her just believing she was meant for greatness and she had to do this and she was abrasive but yet likable but still abrasive um and then all about her team and her struggles and it's heartwarming i cried at the end uh but it was it's a great movie so if you get a chance go watch nyan tell me what you think about it um she made me feel so inadequate and such, and such like a life waster almost like what have I done in life that, you know, because she was like, everybody should do something great and amazing in their life and just go and achieve it. And I'm like, girl, uh, first of all, I don't know what my passion is. And if I haven't learned it by this age, I don't know if I ever will. But um, I'd love to be that great at something. It's just, I don't know what it would be. But it just made me feel like, dang, you know, like she's going to be remembered forever. She's in the books forever. And I'm just going to fade away into nothingness once we get to, I don't know how many generations does it take for you to fade away. I know it's a sad thing. I should stop talking about it. Okay, I will. But um, I still talk about my great grandparents. So y'all are still alive. Grandma. Gra we used to call them by their last names, which is so weird. Grandma Matasak. I know, Polish, Polish. Um, and then um, my great grandparents on the other side. Oh, my great grandmother on my dad's side died at 90 something, like days after I was born. So I don't remember her. But my grandparents, I love to death and, and talk about them all the time. Um, I like to talk about them with my dad a lot because it, you know, when you get older, old memories come up quickly and newer memories don't. Um, and, and the way I get my mom back to my mom is uh, to bring up older memories. So I talk about her mom and her grandmom and 
things we did together and, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so I'm, I'm remembering back at least two generations and hopefully my daughter's doing that with her kids and we live on for a while in our children, grandchildren and hopefully friends and hopefully the Girl Scouts that I helped inspire a bit or, you know, help them to believe that they were amazing, important, wonderful young women um, that really needed to have you know, a place in this world and to stand up for themselves and to achieve whatever the heck they wanted to. So, so and Diana and I did that. <laughs> She's amazing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I even like, oh, I got to do my walk every morning and I can't get fit. And, oh my gosh, the exercise and the, oh, the, I mean, that swim took days and you couldn't stop swimming. Um, you couldn't stop to eat or anything. They could just pull her to the, have her come to the side. Of, nobody could touch her. She could only come to the side of the boat and they would pass her like this liquid. And one little kid asked her, well, what about the bathroom? And she explained that. I mean, it was just like, oh my God. And hallucinations come and it's just like, wow, the willpower, the strength, the determination, the, the, the single sightedness of, of getting something accomplished like that just blows my mind it's, it's amazing what humans can do when they really set their minds to it but so I look around going dang you're wasting your life girl but um you know we we all we all can't be super super superstars or else we wouldn't be superstars because we'd all be the same right I think that makes sense <laughs> I'm going with that, okay? So the small thing today is that the lake was choppy and I'm so grateful for that and positive about it because I got to hear wave sounds. And to me, that soothes my soul, soothes my mind, calms me, relaxes me, makes me feel positive and that the world is an awesome place to be. And I am so glad I got to wake up and walk and hear those sounds. So that's my little thing to be grateful for today. I'd love to hear what yours was in the comments below. Again, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that business over with. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. We will get to 500. We will do it. And uh, who knows where we'll go from there. <laughs> Okay, guys. Anyway, love y'all. Yes, a job is coming soon. Please, 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 please. Yes, universe, God, everybody, please, please have somebody want to interview me. Okay. And uh, yeah, have a great day. I hope your weekend is going good or went well. And I will see you again next week. Have a great day. Find that small thing. Find your joy. Okay, guys. Love you. Mwah. You're my joy. Bye.